What is up, Cool Kid Gang? It is your boy, Cool Kid Minty here, bringing y'all another tutorial. Before we get into this, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support again. I know I said it last video, but we are about to hit a thousand subs, and it's unreal. I'm so thankful. So if you haven't, please do hit that subscribe button if these tutorials help, or if you just kind of, you know, mess with my edits. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be guys showing you something I've done a long time ago, but it's not out it's outdated because i've learned a lot more um basically with like time remapping and stuff but i figure you guys the basics of making a 2k edit whereas yesterday i made a basics of doing a anime edit so if you guys want to go look at that you guys can go check that out um also before i get into this i hope you guys all have a merry christmas or a happy holidays whatever you celebrate hopefully you enjoy it with your family and you know all the people that you care about and you just have a, a great time so with that being said let's uh, get into this tutorial so first things first uh you want to file and put your stuff as always i just already brought my stuff in here to make life a little bit easier now first things first you're going to have your audio layers, which you double-click L to check out this. It'll look like this for you guys starting out, but always go here because it makes it easier and rectify your audio uh, waveforms by right-clicking on the composition, this right area, and then going to click it. So well, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your beats uh, for your markers. So I'm going to let it play for a second so I can find it. Hey, get in my way and try to block me. All right, so... There's two ways of doing this. You can press the uh, the star on like the numpad to get the marker, uh, and you press Control Z to get rid of what you just done. It's the undo button, or you can drag them on like a so. Um, I always recommend uh, putting them like right on beat, and you can also edit to bass, kick, slaps, whatever. Just your personal preference on the edit. One more thing: always make sure your composition settings are on 24 frame rate or 15, depending on how edgy your edit is going to be. So, now that you got that, I'm not gonna go way too far in because I'm probably gonna start off with just like a clip or two and like maybe throw in a transition to show you guys how I do it. Hey, get in my way and try to. I'm gonna only edit on bass because that's just what I prefer. And try to block me. I'm gonna show. A I'm going to show aggression. Uh -huh. So, um, I'm just doing the, uh, the star button. Slide on your block like because your block like Danny Glover. I think it just makes it easier. Danny Glover, what a lethal. What a lethal weapon. The weapon. I fuck. Weapon. I fuck your thought she gave. Um. I'll get just a couple more because I'm probably gonna finish the set it if I'm. I fucked your thought she gave me time. So basically, you just go through the whole song, uh, just finding where you want your markers for the beats. I guess that's my confession. Got no. Alright, that should be good for right now. So now that you got that, you want to bring in your time remap. I'm also show you guys probably how to do a cinematic as well, or a clean way of doing cinematics. If you do want to use cinematics, um, I just imported the wrong thing. Uh, don't import the wrong thing. Import your actual clip. Now, this is where things get a little bit more intriguing. Uh, so basically, just find where you want to start your clip. Me, I'm probably gonna start. I'm probably gonna start the clip right here. So you just do Control Shift D to split a layer, and then click on the layer you don't want, and just press Delete or Backspace on it. It'll get rid of it, and then you just bring this down here. You insert your clips wherever you want. Um, this is just basic time remap. There's uh, other ways of doing um, syncing. Everyone's got a different way of doing it. Really, uh, this is just for like my kind of edits. Um, there's a lot of people that do slight time remapping, but they only map the shot and the um and like the ending of the clip which is normally for mixtapes and stuff like that if they're focusing heavily on the dribbling but this is mainly just the edit so now you want to just move this oh you also do control alt t to start time remapping control alt t to time remap so he started here i'm gonna have it go to where he goes where it hits the behind the back kind of 
and then on this marker I'm gonna have it at the end of the back spin like right there at the start I'm, I'm gonna have it go to when the ball hits there actually I'm gonna have it go a little bit farther about right there now there's a bunch of things some people like to you just have the dunk right there but you could also um, do it to where he's about right here and then the dunk on this one or you could have it go backwards and then and then the dunk for like a cool like well it doesn't look clean right there but you could make like a reverse if you wanted to with timing map but I'm just going to show you the basics I'm just going to have it all the way up like that I'm just going to have it on the dunk on this one and then I'm going to basically just end off the clip right there. Control shift D, delete this keyframe because you don't need it. So now here's the basic uh, time remap that I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to show you guys um, just a little bit of how the graph works. So you want to, after you, you know, click it down and you go to them, you want to highlight them, right click and do keyframe assistant and easy ease or you can press F9. My F9 doesn't always work though. So I tend to just do it that way. Now you want to highlight them and go to this little graph. It should look like this. So now with this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull this one up and this one down. This is like generic, a generic graph. Get in my way and um, so yeah, this is a pretty generic graph. Um, I'm using 60 FPS clips, so I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit more. Get in my way and try to block me. And you could also do other things like if you wanted to. Um, there's so many, you just mess around with and get what you want. I think this is, get in my way and try to block. if you want like a slower, you can make something like that. Um, but if you want like the normal, um, you do it like this. Get in my way and try to block me. That's like basic get in my way and looking graph. You could also do something like that. Get in my way and try to block me. Where it slows down, like it speeds up and then it slows down a beat. But the basic... Um, graph normally looks about like that. Get in my way and try so now what you're going to want to do is you want to do this for all of them. Also, the more you do this depends on like how many frames because you want it to look clean. Um, you don't want it to like be like way too slow or way too fast in one area and look choppy. So just, you know, you're going to mess around with it a little bit till you get what you want. But this is a pretty basic, basic graph. Now let's preview it. Hey, get in my way and try to block me. I'ma show aggression. Slide on your block like Danny Glover. See that doesn't look block me. I'ma show aggression. Slide on your block like Danny Glover. Slide on your block like Danny Glover. So that's a basic flow right there. Hey, get in my way and try to block me. I'ma show aggression. Slide on your block like Danny Glover. No, that's not saying much because that's just the time we map. There's so much more to do now. So now what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to add some pan and crop basically just go down here click transform and uh you can mess around with these uh really however you want but i'm just going to do something probably basic like i'm gonna have it zoom in here and then we'll keep the zoom in probably for a while actually we'll have it zoom out a little bit here and then we'll have it zoom in here and then on the beat we'll have it zoom in a bit more and then on this we'll probably have it zoom out so hey get in my way and try to block me i'm gonna show aggression uh -huh. slide on your block like that now what you're gonna want to do is you want to keyframe them easies uh no uh, the normal way to do this is you Click this, you go down to, um, well, what was I doing? I'm trying to think of how I did. It's been a while since I've messed with the uh, speed graph. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm kind of like trying to remember how to do speed graph. It's been a while. I th which button? This one, yeah. You want to click this little list here and do speed graph. And you want to highlight them all. And you probably just want to bring him back like that. Hey, get in my way and try to block me. I'm going to show aggression. Uh -huh. Slide on your block like that. Um, and then they, 
you could always mess around with it and get different looking like you know, try to block grabs. me i'm gonna show aggression uh -huh. slide on your block like that um or you could do uh it just as fast as possible so. get in my way and try to block me i'm gonna show aggression uh -huh. slide on your block like danny glover yeah this one's supposed to zoom out oh it's because i didn't turn the scale down more no, what you're gonna want to do is away and try to block me. I'm gonna show aggression. Make sure you slide on your block like that. Want. Um, on your block like that. Me, I'm gonna actually have a this kind of scale down more around here. Slide on your block like Danny. Now you're gonna want to do your positioning. And I tend to just have my guy, like whoever's dribbling, just in the middle of the screen. I prefer it to look like that. Just be about in the middle. And then bring him over a little bit more. And then right here we'll have it drop down. And then over here we'll reset it by just control c and control v that hey get in my way and try to so now with this you're gonna want to highlight them all keyframe easy ease do the same thing except with the position you normally want them to you know all be like that hey get in my way and try to block me i'ma show aggression uh -huh. slide on your block like that um with this i'm not gonna have it right here i think i'm gonna have it and then if you want you can do this you don't have to you could always do it differently but i normally like to have just a little bit of rotation i also normally start out normal have it tilt a little bit have it tilt a little bit more tilt it the other way And then, bam. Now you just want to do highlight keyframe, easy ease. These ones, I do them a little bit differently. I like to make my rotation gra graphs look more like that um, because it's more smooth. The thing about it, the rounder it is, the slower it is going to be and the smoother it's going to be the more sharp it is it's going to be more potent and fast hey get in my way and try to block me i'm going to show aggression uh -huh. slide on your block like Danny no that's just how i've always kind of done it um you don't have to do rotation like that um you could do it differently i'm probably not going to put rotation on this edit just cuz i don't want it but that's hey, basically get in my one way of the ways you add just like a little bit of a tilt you could also add sway by using one of the effects but now what you're going to want to do is you're going to add motion tile. And there's, oh, don't put it on your song layer um, like I just did on accident. Put it on your actual clip. You want to turn this up about 250, 260-ish and mirror the edges. This way it doesn't, when you shake and stuff the screen, it doesn't look bad because it'll have a black in the background if your pan and crop's not right this is just how i do pan and crop everyone's kind of got a different way of doing it but that's just a basic way i do it and i didn't really try fine-tuning it so it should look like this hey get in my way and try to block me i'm gonna show aggression uh -huh. slide on your block like danny glover what which isn't too bad it's not the cleanest flow or anything i've done but i'm just using a basic graph and i'm not going through trying to fine-tune everything and basically all that good stuff so now i'm going to show you guys how to make a pretty simple shake um you guys can just uh copy the um you guys can just copy the uh settings because i'm just using a preset and i'll probably make an a uh i'll probably make a uh tutorial on how to make shakes because shakes are a little bit weird just a little bit to understand let it load real quick also uh, if you've made it this far into the tutorial uh, let me know like what else y'all would like to see like with the um any other kind of tutorials all right let's see how this looks on this first 
Hey, get in my way and Oh, it's lagging. It could possibly crash on me here. Hey, get in my way and this is just a simple shake. I'm gonna turn up the amplitude a little bit and turn up the frequency to five. Hey, get in my way and try to get in my way and try to this shake really is get in my way and try to bit, but hey, get in my way and if you want to copy this is more of like a chill and like slower shake. It's not a hard fast shake, but just uh go through and uh copy these settings. You can pause it. You know, check them out. And um, the keyframe, it's like about 20 at the start to zero. Um, yeah, 20 to zero on the dissolve percent. It should look hey, get in my way. like that. This shake isn't really meant for this edit, but just for the tutorial sake, it's a shake. Because I don't really think I'm going to finish this edit. I normally put it, my shakes at a frame before the beat hits. Just kind of how I tend to do it. Um, now, if you do this, you can always just um, what I do. Uh, I go to my effects normally, and I'll make this shake probably a little bit faster, or just cut the shake a little bit um, because you don't really want them to overlap like that. Um, let me move this over, but you also want to make sure it doesn't look bad. My computer is like having a hard time. Forgive me. And then put this one there. Um, probably just I I just suggest cutting this one off because it's the end of the clip anyways. Again, this shake isn't really meant for it. Um, yeah. Hey, get in my way and try to block me. I'ma show aggression. Slide on your block like Danny Glover. The basics to a shake. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a flash. Maybe some. Oh yeah, I need to. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to make. Well, screen pump basically. Basically, a screen pump you do in your transform. You just do. If you really wanted a screen pump, um, you would. Okay, you'd basically. Just start at a hundred, put it up, and then put it back to zero, and just graph it. Um, but you guys, I I don't really use pumps, so um, especially on like two K edits. So I'm gonna do a flash. Well, I'm gonna do an impact. For impact, what you do is you can add exposure. And you want to just turn this up. Turn it up. I'm probably going to turn it up to probably 3.6. And now you want to keyframe it at the start and then put it at um, zero. Yeah. So it should Gretchen, look like, on your block like Danny So that's like a little... On your block like Danny impact Glo that you could put on it. On your block like Danny what a so basically to syncing a clip it looks exactly like that and this is what your final product should look like if you use like the same shake and you kind of like use the same uh graph i did it should look like this hey get in my way and try to block me i'ma show aggression uh -huh. slide on your block like Danny Glover what so it's not bad but that's the basics though to like syncing a 2k clip and editing it um now what other people do is they'll like you know they'll put more effects on it make it look better um throw a cc on it some twitch and yeah but uh i'll probably do another tutorial soon basically on how to make color corrections and stuff like that where uh you know just uh other stuff maybe an effect tutorial so uh yeah let me know what you guys would like to see and what else i could help you out with if you want to dm me on twitter uh, at Cool Kid Pain, I mean Cool Kid Minty. I use my old name right there. <laughs> used to be Cool Kid um, Pain, but I'm Cool Kid Minty now. So yeah, if you enjoyed, um, leave a like if it helped. Um, I'm glad it did, and uh, have a merry Christmas and happy holidays to all y'all out there. And uh, yeah, see y'all next time.